If you are a trial lawyer cross-examining someone on the stand, it doesn't get much better than this. Do you know where I got this? No. Mr. Jones, did you know that 12 days ago, 12 days ago, your attorneys messed up and sent me an entire digital copy of your entire cell phone with every text message you've sent for the past two years and when informed, did not take any steps to identify it as privileged or protect it in any way. And as of two days ago, it fell free and clear into my possession. And that is how I know you lied to me when you said you didn't have text messages about Sandy Hook. Did you know that? I See, I told you the truth. This is your Perry Mason moment. I gave them my phone. and then, Mr. Jones, you need to answer the question. No, Did I, you know I, this happened? No, I don't know this happened. But I mean, I told you I gave him the phone over. And just and answer you the said, question. You said in your deposition, you searched your phone. You said you pulled down the text, did the search function for Sandy Hook. That's what you said, Mr. Jones, correct? And I had several several different phones with this number, but I did, yeah. Well, of course, I mean, that's why you got it. No, Mr. Jones, that's not why I have it. My lawyer sent it to you, but I'm hiding it. Okay. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones, that's just answer questions. There's no question. Mr. Bankston right. also only asked questions. Sure. Mr. Jones, in discovery, you were asked, do you have Sandy Hook text messages on your phone? And you said no, correct? You said that under oath, Mr. Jones, didn't you? I mean, if I was mistaken, I was mistaken, but you, you got the messages right there. You know what perjury is, right? I just want to make sure you know before we go any further. You know what it is. Yes, I do. That was just one of the many gobsmacking moments from the seven-day trial so far of conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. Jones has already been found liable for defamation after using his platform to spread the false and offensive conspiracy theory that the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School was a hoax. The trial in Texas right now is about how much he should pay in damages, and the jury is now deliberating. The trial has laid bare what we already knew. Jones's website, Infowars, is a cesspool of disinformation, hate, and grift. Earlier this week, an Infowars host named Owen Schroyer admitted he did no basic fact-checking before he shared an article attacking the father of a Sandy Hook victim. So let me ask you this. If, I have, if you get something from a source and, you're, and you look and say, you know, this source sometimes is reliable. Sometimes they're way out there and unreliable. Isn't it a, incumbent on you to check it and do some sort of vetting before you put it on here? Yes, I could have done a better job. You could have done a job. And InfoWars producer also refused to say whether Alex Jones should have verified his bogus claims about Sandy Hook before he made them publicly to his legions of loyal viewers. We heard Mr. Jones say there are photos of kids who they said died who are still alive. That's what Mr. Jones said. Correct. And Mr. Jones should have verified that if he was going to say something that outrageous. Right? Or do you not think so? I'm, I'm not, I can't speak for him. I'm not sure what was going, in, going through his head at that time. And just yesterday, Judge Maya Gamble issued Jones a brutal dressing down over his seemingly pathological inability to tell the truth, even while under oath. Mr. Jones, you may not say to this jury that you complied with discovery. That is not true. You may not say it again. It seems absurd to instruct you again that you must tell the truth while you testify. Yet here I am. You must tell the truth while you testify. This is not your show. And it's worth noting that Alex Jones is not just the far-right fringe figure he should be, because past guests on his program like Donald Trump and Congressman Matt Gates and more recent guests like Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene have lent legitimacy to this conspiratorial far-right bloviator who peddles nonsense conspiracies about murdered children and Hillary Clinton being a demon and a so-called Jewish mafia controlling the world. Alex Jones should have been rejected by Republican leaders and lawmakers, but instead he was shamefully embraced.